What's the best way when we have very little time but we really wish to be creative? Well, limit yourself with the small amount of supplies. Scrapbook paper, some rice paper, just paper elements, basic gessos for our mediums, some glue, scissors, maybe more elements and that's really it. Try not to overwhelm yourself with the supplies, especially if you have 5-10 minutes really and I promise you we're gonna try to be creative and make something very pretty with the small amount of supplies with also so limited kind of color palette. Look at my color palette. These are kind of browns. This was actually my initial first initial first choice. So we had some dark browns vintage feel. Then I grabbed this one which is corresponding because uh, corresponding <laughs> sorry because it's black and white this as well and then I felt some color something so I grabbed these and they are coming from the botanical plants vintage book uh, I fussy cut this one already and I just have to finish this one I have no plan for this page except that I really wish to show you that I'm not gonna spend too much time on this page and also I wish you to know that I will not be putting the timer because because uh, sometimes the timer on the desk um, showing 5-10 minutes to be creative can be stressful for many and I figured you know what it's gonna be 5-10 minutes page I'm gonna do my absolute best to have it this way without time timing this I'm just gonna really try to focus on being creative without focusing on the most spectacular final page I fussy cut beautiful elements from the book the paper elements and also semi-transparent butterflies flies from my papers. Before we start our 10 minutes page, let me show you. This is the page I wish to use and it's my own collection Art Technique paper set. The last few of them left in the store. Check them out. We're not going to be doing reprint because this is a second reprint of this one. A gorgeous, unique, different paper I have to say. And also I found some uh, race papers back in stock so check them out. I know so many of you have been waiting for. We will add this as well and this is the pad with the clear uh, gorgeous uh, translucent papers and I love my flowers and butterflies and sayings and all like there's more so have a have a look at them you would love it everything is in the store so that's enough of a little bit of advertisement but I meant to mention it say it, that I have found rice papers some of the sets are back so check it out and also I never mentioned that for the first time I added my original artworks from the videos being available now to purchase uh, if you go on the website you will see uh, Marimi original artworks for sale and also there are sale boxes finally yay I'm so excited because I have been saying about sale boxes forever anyway let's jump in let's dive in into our page let's say we have 10 minutes I'm gonna start with ripping this one because I really wish some elements from my clear oh, I love this one I don't have plan honestly I really wish for a first and a second sort of background so we have something on the back round very far kind of feeling like this and something on the front which is gonna be our paper and I'm gonna use clear gesso to adhere my my um, rice paper I love that flat brush will be just fine I'm not setting the timer but I really wish to making sure we're gonna try to have this as the 10 minute 15 minute 5 minute page depending how it's gonna go so basically my idea is I really would love you to give yourself a chance to be creative in a small amount of time and not thinking that oh I can't do art because um, I have a baby around I had Hannah around as well we've been doing uh, clothes uh, for uh, a baby doll for her cray baby and believe it or not uh, she asked me for gloves she asked me for bib and a skirt and I did it and I did it uh, with the hot glue gun because there was no time for sewing but she was ecstatic so she was so happy let's grab this paper I love this paper so I hope for a little bit of vintage feel I hope for some kind of I love this paper it was my first ever collection ever created and the print version and it was just so unique and I was just learning so much about paper designing uh, graphic designing and all oh, see the pink little fluff this is from the t-shirt because I'll show you I've been cutting this t-shirt old t-shirt and cutting the bib from here <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, one of the sleeve is gone, this, another one is here, because we've been doing the clothes. So I'm telling you, you can do another fluff. I can, you, you can be creative, I promise you. Now, we're gonna rip the paper a little bit because I somehow feel that I really wish um, this to be abstract. I really wish this to feel somehow. I don't know how yet. But I I have this vision. I have a vision. I a lot of times have just visions. Nothing else. <laughs> nothing else. I have just visions. Um, I think I just would like a little bit of abstract going on heaviness here. Maybe then we can jump in with some of these flowery or something I don't know look it's it there was t some kind of vision but the vision may not follow up the the rest of the story and that's okay too we shall see um I don't know I uh, let's just tr try it do something that we just will fall in love basically and that's what I'm hoping we're gonna fall fell in love with this project I really hope oh slowly slowly we're getting somewhere right we are getting somewhere that we just may love totally um i'm gonna use maybe this glue here again i'm not convinced i'm doing my best but i also wish not to constantly focusing my energy when i do the page on this most thought through page and process quite opposite let's just go for it let's just go for like let's just improvise let's go for it let's let's just try and see how things are gonna be and that's kind of how it feels you know uh, that's how that that's really how i see it just do it just jump in and see what will happen i feel like th this is just a different kind of page because it's abs abstract i'm listening sorry because hannah's outside she's she's playing i have an eye on her as well because lucas is picking up um a friend our friend had an operation so he's in his hospital so he's picking him up from hospital and uh, bringing him home so lucas is not here emily is in friend's house so i have hannah and that's why Honestly, that's why where the idea for 10 minutes challenge kind of page came over again because it just felt that this is the maximum I can really try and grab from my day to day because uh, I just will be, you know, focusing on Hannah as well while she's outside. Now I have an eye on her, she knows to be here, but if I hear any sort of squeaking noises, I'm like <gasps> jumping in like you know if she's okay if everyone is okay now i can sense that this page could be a little bit longer because that's probably my biggest issue that i am a perfectionist i love things to be like amazing which it's okay and it's bad at the same time like don't hide it like they don't have to be amazing marta like be amazing to yourself don't worry but it's just me you know that's how kind of my brain operates as well to be sort of good and yeah i don't know i just i think sometimes it can be for those who are um, very much of uh, being perfectionists it's hard to be um it's hard to be abstractish as well because usually that's not <laughs> really perfectionism right okay so that's what we have and i think we could just have this one following and have it like i love that and let's grab white gesso and let's see what will happen with that white gesso and i'm gonna just jump in with my finger because i, I really wish to sort of have a feel that this connection between those papers are like happy here that we just having you know like a good time joining them together and that's what i'm thinking a little bit of that a little bit of that and the focal points that I'm thinking the one that we have cut I somehow feel that I wish them to be maybe on top of it and being straight strict no stri like striking yeah striking visible sort of thing we shall see now uh, as you can tell I'm not really precisely thinking of where I'm gonna place this or that I'm just going for it like like a little bit of there a little bit of there and that's okay all together that's okay now I'm thinking we're gonna dry this for one second and have already a little bit of inking white inking why not or 
maybe actually great inking that would be nice um, I'm not too sure I'm gonna use the butterflies as well as the as the elements of these we see, we shall see oh I like that I love that actually I really love that I really really love that interesting as well if you don't have white gesso you could try to use maybe a white watercolor I'm gonna grab it and just see if I can have a little bit of play like this oh I love that just a white watercolor just to have a little bit of uh, this touch of different um, element, dif um, different medium sort of thing, you know, a little bit of that. And I'm thinking as well that if I add it, um, I could have them a, li a little bit splashing, like, look, that's kind of abstractish. And I, I feel I'm rushing a little bit, but I re re really wish you to know that it's not that I'm rushing, it's more like, don't overthink, don't wait and don't stare at this page, just jump in, just do something, just enjoy the process, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna dry this. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of inking and settle this as well with the drying tool. I didn't know that you have to settle usually the white ink with some um, drying process, to be honest, had no idea about that. And the gray one, my favorite Distress Oxide ink. And also, I wanted to tell you about Wonderlast. I'm teaching for the fourth year and it's up for sale since yesterday. The first 2000 spaces half price early birds are gone, but I just got an email an hour ago that a thousand more spaces is added. It's a one year experience of art, journaling, mixed media, collage. You have to join it. Please check the link below in the description and in the comment as well. I'm sure there are still spaces available because it was only a uh, an hour or two ago that I got the email so check it out it is amazing amazing and this year I'm gonna be doing this also myself I cannot really wait for that because I have been teaching but I wasn't participating as a, as a student and I would love that I need some art practice just for myself I'm adding a little extra splashes because I think I missed a lot of these splashes they kind of dried up so yes, Wonderlast is a year, whole year, like you have 32 teachers, you have f over 50 unique classes for like 100 or something, that's like really like a, the best deal out there so check it out and if you use my link you give me a um, commission which I'm so grateful so thank you and also it tells uh, that you like me and you like follow my work and you like uh, what I suggest you to maybe purchase that my suggestions means that you trust me as well and that actually is quite amazing dreamy looking absolutely gorgeousness the next step is to uh, add our embellishments our focal point kind of un unless it's the whole page as a focal point which it feels like that to be honest and the smaller butterfly I'm thinking and also I found a perfect title chaos on paper brings me peace of mind I think it's gonna be fantastic if I maybe place it here that's what I'm gonna do these are also my stickers and I don't use them because they are mine I really use them because they are truly what I have missed for the past years of my creative journey. I missed uh, clear, transparent uh, stickers as the sentences, as words or just quotes or something. We have them in different sizes like a big and small. We have the whole pack of big, the whole pack of small or a mixture, cheaper version where you have I think too small, too big as a random. Um, I think I'm gonna go for that. Honestly, I absolutely love it. The only thing is I'm gonna cut it in half. Uh, Chaos on paper, yes, I think I'm gonna do that. Chaos on paper brings me peace of mind, I think so. And I also will cut this one shorter here maybe, and maybe here that clear plastic. Um, let's see, absolutely, I can see that it's just a perfect sizes, sizing as well where to place it. Uh, and I won't lie, I have a timer on but you can't see it. It's timer for me only because honestly, you know how chatty I am. And even though I wish to make a small page that it's like a less time and all, I be chatting so much that that it may just simply <laughs> go over those uh, five, ten minutes. So I set myself a timer, I can see that like 
I think we over 10 minutes, few, like two or two minutes or so, but that's okay. That's perfectly no problem. Um, I need a little bit of paper to, there we go, to add our glue here. And um, I think we over the limit of those five, 10 minutes. That's okay. The, the idea for me to set the, uh, the clock for myself is to just not go, go over like half an hour where I chat, chat, chat. So, um, and I didn't want to stress you out. I remember some comments um, back then when I was doing five minutes, 10 minutes challenge when I was doing cards or usually journal pages. I remember some people saying that this is too stressful to watch you being in rush or to see the clock itself so uh, I hope today was not as that because I really wish you to see that you can be creative in a smaller amount of time you can have some basic maybe not basic supplies I wouldn't call them basic but you can certainly have small amount of supplies limit limit yourself with supplies that will just not overwhelm you basically so that's kind of how I feel uh, and this is why I thought about this page as well to not overwhelm you and to so that you can as well feel good about creating something look uh, so if you if you will thinking I'm gonna actually push this like that and break it a little bit if you're thinking about page like that which I suggest you to do go for black and white background super whoops <laughs> super and easy black and white background sounds simple and it is go for black and white background and then figure out some small or big but color focal point that will be that's my husband one second and focal point that will be striking from the page and all it's gonna be just wow my last touch is gonna be a little bit of outlining like this I just love the idea of having this outline I in general my favorite pen that I, I, like I'm suggesting you this pen for the past months and months um, and so many of you have purchased it I just absolutely adore this pen and I love having it uh, for outlining where I do watercolors or collaging it is just phenomenal I was outlining chatting with Lucas outlining outlining and I have it all pretty much done I think the outlining kind of brings everything as well together if you have a look because it is kind of joined with the background sort of thing that it's black and white so our elements are outlined and I love that I'm gonna give you one more tip for the stickers if you jump in with this kind of flat something this one it's called what is it it's like for you know when you do the lines on the paper if you just do this it will help get rid of the shyness or the if if it's lacking in gluing or something it's gonna be just right and honestly I think I really think I would love some splashes as the final touch how about black splashes this time hmm maybe that's gonna be a nice idea so uh, honestly the page is done in truly in 10 minutes let me just check the color it is blackish grayish that's okay so it's it's a gorgeous page honestly I haven't done such a pretty page in ages and different and it is abstract -ish and I love that I have white t-shirt look I have white t-shirt and black splashes so I move this here away from myself uh, so it is possible to make something pretty it's gonna be this page must maybe because of chats and everything and this this been distracted by myself um, maybe it was 12 minutes but honestly you can do page like that that in 10 minutes obviously the fussy cutting I didn't count the time and now the chats and all uh, but it is absolutely doable in short time and um, just get some basic amount of supplies like really don't 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 look for uh, but also look for stuff like look through your stash and really find something that speaks to you like that you just simply love I love this paper the beautiful flowers on the background uh, the um, the rice papers it's one of my favorite as well and truth to be told I absolutely adore the book with those uh, focal point flowers I used it quite quite a lot now it's the botanical plants and it's l loads of beautiful elements I'll send you the link as well I give you the link on the in the description so check it out I I can't seems to get the more amount of oh I'm also focusing in kind of here 
and here and here like not everywhere but just in few places I think it's nice when you focus on few places only and I'm thinking how about a little bit of white splashes as well wouldn't that be nice I think it would be just fantastic so let's do that and I have my white here in the calligraphy ink from Windsor and Newton there we go so I'm focusing as well like black was here on the white surface and now I'm focusing my white on the leaves for example so it's gonna be more visible and on the butterfly and why not my beautiful friends I'm so proud to present you this gorgeous page and I mean it I love 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 it and I love that I have used so many of my products the stamps the butterfly uh, the background papers I just love it and the sticker because the, the, the words because I think for many years uh, for the past year so many of you have purchased my products I don't think I've used it enough so it's time to get back to these because I do love them uh, I really do I really love using the, those products and I sometimes feel that it's um, like too much auto promotion so I, at some point I stopped completely using my products which for business side is probably so silly of me then I didn't have stock because I didn't want to be overcrowding everyone with the selling and everything though so, but now honestly I just so enjoy being back a little bit to my own products I just truly enjoy them I love how different these pages but it's so beautiful it's so me as well I love it so thank you so much my gorgeous beautiful friends don't forget to check my store I'm gonna auto promote as well now because we have sale boxes original art pieces art artworks for sale we have some chipboards for sale we have uh, race paper back in stock maybe some tissue paper check it out I have to say uh, papers what else we have oh and the wonderness check the link and if you can use my one I would be so pleased honestly thank you so many friends already use my link and it means so much because there's so many artists taking part in Wonderlust 32 teachers everyone is selling from their own link because it's an extra uh, income for them as a teacher this is how you make lo your living as a teacher from affiliate links or from promotional moments like this when something is going up for sale and you know from your referrals this is how much you earn percentage uh, from it so it's truly bread and butter for artists so uh, among 32 people to choose from if you watch so many of these teachers for example it's hard to choose so whoever you're gonna support as a teacher I'm so glad you would uh, if you decide to support my link thank you honestly uh, so uh, happy Sunday my beautiful friends I hope you will enjoy your weekend uh, have a good one uh, mind yourself and your loved ones we have a gorgeous beautiful weather in Ireland so I cannot wait for tomorrow a little bit of resting day so yes uh, till the next time happy art journaling mixed media and let me know honestly your thoughts on this page because honestly I'm I'm absolutely in love with this one so different to Marta but so Marta <laughs> so thank you bye for now bye bye